Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Laga. A new report from Bloomberg shows thousands of people's private information, like Social Security numbers, may have been leaked from TUSD cyber attack in February. Yeah, Nine on your side's Faith Abercrombie follows up with a TUSD parent and a cyber attack analyst about his thoughts on public school district data breaches. Back in February, I spoke to Stacy Gossick, who has two of her sons in the Tucson Unified School District. A new report shows her concerns regarding private information being leaked may be coming to light. Your critical data was not only encrypted, but also copied. This is Stacy Gossick reading the letter that printed out at her son's school back in February after a district-wide cyber attack. My initial thoughts on this was exactly what I said was happening. It does appear to be happening. I was very concerned. A new report from Bloomberg shows they have found 16,000 social security numbers or birth dates tied to current and former TUSD employees on the dark web. They should be reaching out to us and telling us this has happened. These are the dangers and these are the resources that you now need to protect yourself. But instead they're acting like it's not a big deal and everything's fine and that's not the case. The report also shows the hackers got a hold of a high schooler's medical records and information regarding why several students were expelled. Gossick says one of her main concerns is her or her son's identities being stolen. Maybe I was wrong about it, but now reading this and seeing that our kids' identities can be taken, it is very shocking. Threat analyst Brett Callow for the cybersecurity firm MCSoft says between 84 and 89 public school districts fall victim to data breaches every year. Most organizations are attacked in one of a handful of ways. They haven't patched their systems, their passwords have been compromised, they aren't using multi-factor authentication everywhere that they could and should be using it. Callow recommends for those who are concerned about a data breach to visit identitytheft.gov. Any information that the school district holds about them could now be potentially in the hands of cyber criminals. In Tucson, Faith Abercrombie, Kega 9 on your side.